This is Baiju Vasudev and welcome to my channel Pi by V Maths. Today we are going to learn chapter 8 integration. This chapter consists of six subtopics. We are going to start from 8.1 definite integrals. So what is a definite integral? We must have learned uh, integration in P1. The integration is Let's say you have x squared dx. The integration of x squared is x power 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c. And the plus c is very important. If you don't add plus c, you will lose one mark here. So we learned this in P1. Now here in P2, we are going to learn something called definite integral. That means it's the same integration, but you will be given two numbers here called limits, lower limit and upper limit. It can be any number, zero, positive, negative, decimals, it can be any number. So the integration part is same as the one we learned in P1. X square, integral of x square is x power 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1. But here, you are not supposed to add plus c. Don't add plus c here. Just put a box square bracket and write the limits 1 and 2 here. Okay, the integration is same, same as the indefinite integral that we learned in P1. But instead of plus c, don't add plus c, just write the limits 1 and 2. Now you need to replace x by the upper limit. So it's 2 cube over 3 minus, it's always minus. Replace x by the lower limit, 1 cube over 3. Simplify this, that's the answer. So it's 2 cubed is 8 minus 1 is 7 over 3 is the answer. That's all. That's how we we find the value of the definite integral. Here when you integrate, you get a function. But when you apply the limits in definite integral, you will get some real number. I have taken all these questions from exercise 8a. So I'm going to solve them one by one. Look at the first one. You have integral x cube. Integral of x cube is x power 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1. Just put a square bracket and write the limits 2 to 5. That's your first step. Don't put plus c. And then replace x by 5. You can even take 1 over 4 as a common factor. Replace x by 5. 5 power 4 minus. It should be always minus. Replace x by the lower limit, 2 power 4. Calculate this, that's your answer. So it's 6, 0, 9 over 4. That's all. Here when you integrate x power half, you'll get x power half plus 1 over half plus 1. And the limit is 0 to 4. So you have a fraction in the denominator, put it as a reciprocal 2 over 3. Replace x by the upper limit, 4 power 3 by 2, minus x by the lower limit, 0. And when you find the value of 4 power 3 by 2, it's 2 squares, so 2, 2 will be cancelled, 2 cube is 8. 8, 2, so 16 over 3. That's the answer. Here, if you want to integrate, you write the function as... To bring the x cube to the numerator, you will get 2x power negative 3 plus 3x dx. So when you integrate this, 2x power minus 3 plus 1 over minus 3 plus 1 plus 3x, when you integrate x, it becomes x square over 2. Substitute the limit, 1 to 2. Now replace x by upper limit. It will be minus 2 power minus 2 plus 3 over 2 times 2 square. Put everything inside a bracket. Minus. Replace x by 1. So minus 1 power negative 2 plus 3 by 2 times 1 square. So this will be minus 1 over 4 plus 4 threes are 12 by 2 is 6. Minus, minus 1 plus 3 by 2. So you will get 24, 23 by 4 
minus this is 1 over 2 or 2 over 4 which is 21 over 4 is the answer so you see you got this question in your exam you just need to show this step you need to show how you are integrating it and then you need to definitely show this step substitute the upper limit minus the lower limit and you can skip all these steps straight away write your answer in fact you have this button in your calculator you can see two boxes here and one box here use this button to put this function inside type the function and dx put the uh, lower limit upper limit plus equal you will straight away get the answer so you can always verify your answer now question 2c you can write the function as integral x power half minus 6x power negative 2 dx. The limit is 4 to 9. Integrate x power half, you will get x power half plus 1 over half plus 1 minus 6x power negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1. The limit is 4 to 9. And you have to carefully substitute the limits and simplify them. Replace x by the upper limit 9. You put 9 here. 9 power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 minus 6. It becomes plus 6 actually. 9 power minus 1. Put everything inside the bracket minus. You replace x by 4. Lower limit 4. 4 power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 plus 6 times. 4 power minus. Put it in your calculator and simplify this. It's 3 square. 3 can be cancelled. 27 times 2. 54 by 3 plus 6 over 9, which is 2 over 3 minus. 4 power 3 by 2 is basically 8. 8 times 2, 16 by 3. Plus 6 over 4, which is 3 over 2. So we'll get 56 over 3 minus this will be 32 plus 9, 41 over 6. 41 over 6. So when you simplify, it's 112 minus 41. So 112 minus 41 is 71, 71 over 6. So that's the answer. And again, you need to show, you don't need to show all these steps. You show them the substitution, upper limit minus the lower limit. And then straight away, you write your answer 71 over 6. And one of my students asked me, do I need to change this improper fraction to a mixed fraction? You don't need to do that. You can just keep it as a fraction. And do you really need to change it to a decimal? You don't need because in Pearson and Excel, mostly they want the answer to be in the exact form. So keep it as a fraction. Okay, now look at this question, question number six. They want you to calculate this definite integral and write the answer in this form a plus b root 3. So let's integrate this first. You can write this 2x power negative half. When you bring the x power half to the numerator it becomes negative half. So you integrate this 2x power minus half plus 1 which becomes positive half divided by positive half. And the limit is 4 to 12. You see, you can keep the number outside. Because anyway, we are going to replace only x by the upper limit and lower limit. So 2, in fact, 2 over half, you can write it as 4. x power half, 12 power half minus 4 power half. So if you simplify this, 12 power half is uh, 4 times 3 is 12, 2 root 3. 2 root 3 minus 2. So take 4 power half is 2. Take 2 outside. I just multiply through it by 4. You'll get negative 8 plus 8 root 3. It does look like this. 
a plus b root 3. That's the answer. So in question number 7, the answer is given already as 3. But the upper limit is not a number, it's a variable k. It's a, it's a k actually, you need to find the value of k here. So integrate this, you can write it as x power minus half first. Integral 1 to k. When you integrate this, x power minus half plus 1 becomes positive half by positive half. 1 to k is 3. Now substitute the upper limit lower limit. The half becomes reciprocal 2 over 1. So 2 k power half minus 1 power half. Upper limit minus lower limit is 3. Make k as a subject now. Bring the 2 here. So square root of k minus 1 is 3 over 2. Bring the minus 1 here. Square root of k is 3 over 2 plus 1 which is 5 over 2. Square both sides. 25 over 4 is the value of k.